Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be showing you an in-depth guide to the new Curse Forge launcher. Now you may be wondering, why do I care about this launcher? Well, it's pretty simple. If you play with mods on any game off of Curse Forge, the Twitch app is going away. It's now going to be replaced with the Curse Forge app here. It's a brand new app. Curse Forge was sold to Overwolf, who is the makers of this app, and we're going to be going over it in this video. Now, we're going to be specific more towards Minecraft in this video because this is a Minecraft channel. However, we're going to be giving an overview in general if you play other games such as World of Warcraft or Kerbal Spacecraft or anything like that that they allow mods for on Curse Forge. This video can be of help to you, but we're going to be narrowing down on Minecraft once we get deeper into the app. But nevertheless, we do have a small sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown .xyz slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, look no farther than Apex Minecraft Hosting at the first link down below. That's the breakdown .xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Curse Forge. To do that, you want to go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is the official Curse Forge like download page on overwolf.com once you're here you want to go ahead and click on the download for windows button that's then going to go ahead and in the bottom left start cursed forge downloading you shouldn't need to keep this file on google chrome but you may need to save it on mozilla firefox it's 100 percent safe to save it now let's go ahead and from our desktop we have the cursed forge installer here if this isn't on your desktop no worries it's going to be found in your downloads folder to find that click the little windows icon it's in the top left of my screen probably in the bottom left of your screen click on that little windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen and then go ahead and type in downloads now this download file folder in windows click on that and in here you will find curse forge go ahead and drag and drop that to your desktop just for ease of use go ahead and double click on curse forge and it's going to install like any other program now one of the things that you will notice is that you are going to have to install overwolf as well i don't like that too much but it is what it is i want to go ahead and click the red next button and then we can create a desktop shortcut for curse forge you can create one for overwolf if you want but you don't have to do that you also need to agree to Overwolf's terms and privacy policy, which we do, so we're going to go ahead and click Next. Now it's going to go ahead, download, basically do everything that it needs to do to get Curse Forge installed. Once it is finished installing, a desktop icon will appear, and I believe Curse Forge will actually go ahead and open up as well. So it's extracting the files, kind of finishing the process, and then it's downloading, installing, and now it's actually finishing the process. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I just need to do a jump cut here, I think. And here we go. Curse Forge has a successfully installed along with Overwolf. You can see in the top left that we do have the icon there. We can go ahead and click launch and it will go ahead and open up Curse Forge for the first launch. The cool thing about this is it's going to give us a little bit of an overview of what Overwolf is and Curse Forge and all that stuff. And I'm going to go through that really fast. One of the things that is cool to me is later on you'll see that creators of these mods and mod packs are going to be supported with Curse Forge. Got a really cool intro graph graphic there. Look how fancy that was. But nevertheless, here we are. Welcome to Curse Forge on Overwolf. Thank you for joining the Curse Forge beta. This is currently in beta. Together we will make finish making or we wish to make modding easy and more fun. If you go ahead and click next here, we'll be able to see that you're in control of your privacy. Curse Forge collects some data to improve and personalize your experience. You can choose to opt out at any time in settings of privacy. Then we do have supporting the mod authors. Mod authors get 70% of the app's revenue. So by using Curse Forge, you help reward your favorite creators. Use the free version with ads or subscribe to a level to support and remove ads. That's a cool thing. That's something that I think has been a gap in the industry for so long with Minecraft mods. Every Minecraft mod that isn't on Curse Forge is going to be coming to Curse Forge because of that. And that includes other mods as well. Or other games as well. So many mod creators are going to move here because they can actually get some revenue back for their mods. Next or next up, we have the Let's Shape the Future Curse Forge together. If you have any ideas, let them know in support. Suggest a feature. And then let the games begin. Click Get Started to locate your installed games, mods, add-ons, etc. Awesome. Get started. So here we go. We're immediately thrown in. We see the games here. There are tons of them from Elder Scrolls Online, World of Warcraft, to Arcadia, Kerbal, and Minecraft. Now, as I said, later on in this tutorial, we're going to get more into Minecraft. That's coming. But first, I want to come over here to the left-hand side. First off, you can log into your Curse Forge account. If you click on that, you can connect with Twitch. What I like, though, is that's not required. That was required on the Twitch app. It's not required on the Curse Forge app, which is awesome. You also have the Discord here. If you click that, it's going to open up Discord and allow you to join Curse Forge's Discord. There is the Support tab. As you can see, you can get help on Discord, browse, or open a ticket. You can also suggest a feature or show the intro again. Then we also have the settings here where you can choose to hide Curse Forge when you close it, exit Curse Forge, or exit Curse Forge and Overwolf. Personally, I'm going to select that one. You can also turn off uh, Curse Forge running on startup, which we're going to do. And as you can see, you'll need to do that in Overwolf as well to make Overwolf not turn on. Now, I'm not going to be giving that much of an overview of Overwolf, but here is all the uh, settings that you can go through and change if you would like. I'm going to go ahead and close out of Overwolf there. 
As you can see, we can now close out of that as well. And now Exit, CurseForge, and Overwolf are selected. There's also add-ons here. You can check for updates every hour, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or three hours. And how many downloads do you want going at the same time? Three. How much backup drive storage do you want? You can turn that all the way up to 10 megabytes or leave it at two. Two is probably fine. There's also privacy. As you can see, you can open up Overwolf to see additional privacy settings. There's also game-specific settings. So once you add in games, you can go ahead and come down to here and change those. But let's go ahead and do that, obviously, starting with Minecraft. So if you're not here for Minecraft, there's kind of the overview of the CurseForge app. And now we can continue with Minecraft. So once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on the Continue button. And that's going to install some things for Minecraft. Now, if we go over here to Browse Mod Packs, you'll be able to see all the CurseForge Mod Packs that you know and love. We'll go ahead and install one, like Septech Ages, just as an example. So now that's going to go ahead and start installing. If we come back to my mod packs, we'll see it doing that. However, if we go down to settings here, we now have Minecraft under game specific settings. This is where you can come in here and do things like set your resolution, which we're going to go ahead and do to 1920 by 1080, which is 1080p. You can also close launcher when game starts, keep launcher open, or hide launcher and reopen when game closes. We're going to close launcher when game starts. You can also choose your Java version, right? So native launcher is what we're going to be using here. And you can also change how much RAM you have dedicated to Minecraft and your, you know, instances. One of the things that I really like is their default at four gigs. That's a good amount for modded Minecraft. I'm going to up that to six though, just to be safe. There we go. Awesome stuff. So now we can go ahead and close out of this and Septech is still installing. So we're gonna go ahead, wait a minute, and then once Septech Ages of Sky is installed, we'll go ahead and launch it just to show you how to launch a mod pack via the CurseForge launcher. So Septech Ages of Sky is now installed. We can go ahead and click the orange play button to go ahead and start that. It's then gonna open up the Minecraft launcher where you will need to log in to your Minecraft account, right? This is gonna be the same Minecraft login information that you use in the default Minecraft launcher because this uses the default Minecraft launcher, which is pretty cool. So as you can see, we are opening up Minecraft here and we will need to either click Microsoft login or Mojang depending on whichever account you have. They're currently migrating all Mojang accounts to Microsoft. Mine's not migrated yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in with Mojang. I will see you once I've done that. There we go. We are now logged in. And as you can see, it kind of gives you this little overview. You can dismiss that. Then we have Ages of Sky automatically selected down here, and we can click play. It's going to give us this warning. We understand the risk. We know what we're doing. Go ahead and click play. And now, Septech Ages of Sky is going to open, but it's a mod, and it's going to take a while, as all mod packs do, especially on the first open. So it's doing some downloading now for Minecraft. Once that's finished, it'll open up Minecraft with Septech Ages of Sky. But we have to do a jump cut, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut. And then once we have done that, we'll be able to finish off this tutorial because we'll be in game and we'll prove that you can open a Minecraft with CurseForge. I just like to kind of like finish that off. So I'll do a jump cut until this, after this downloads open, then I'll jump cut to the main menu, then we'll be done. That took forever to get loading on first launch. As you can see, it has gone non-responding. As with all mod packs though, it's going to eventually work itself out. So now we just do a quick jump cut until we're on the main menu. It's loading up though. There's no denying that. So finally, after a long startup process, here we are on the Subtech Ages main menu showing you you can launch mod packs with curse forge and that's honestly how you should pretty much install mod packs moving forward from curse but there you have it that's the complete overview of the curse forge launcher specifically for minecraft but in general as well as you can see there are a bunch of different games supported here if you do have any questions about the curse forge launcher let us know in the comment section down below we've got a lot more tutorials coming on curse forge and this launcher in the future but nonetheless my name is nick this has been the breakdown subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week and i am out peace